everyone welcome back to a brand new video my name is Sanjay Raj and in this video I wanted to teach you guys how to create this digital clock using HTML CSS and JavaScript so the first thing you want to do is uh, open up a folder I'm gonna be opening up a index.html a style.css and a app.js so all these files will be needing over time so first of all in the html i'm going to be using emit shift and the shift and one and then tab you guys can get the boilerplate normal boilerplate that you guys want and um, after that you guys want to create a div with a class of clock and before that before the div you should create a h1 saying digital clock and then inside the clock div you want to create three h2s so uh, so duplicate them and i want to give a class of hours here i want to give a class of minutes and in the third one i want to give a class of seconds so here we won't be putting in any values but just to style it I'll just put 10 colon colon and another 10 and now I'll open this up with live server which is a plugin in Visual Studio Code um, so uh, I'll link my style sheet here right below the title I'll say style.css I go to my style.css and I put the asterisk which means that the styles we put in here will apply to the whole web page so I'll say margin 0 padding 0 box sizing border box and I give and I want to give a font family of Montserrat okay so as you guys can see it's kind of okay now it's looking a bit good because we updated the font and after that we want to open up a body and in the body we should give display flex we want to give justify content center and also align item center and then I want to give the height to be 100 VH so it's gonna align right there um, after that for the clock so for the clock class that we have here where we have the hours minutes and the seconds I want to give a background color of some any color so I'll just change the color because that does not make the numbers stand out mm. also I'll give a padding on the top and bottom uh, of 15 pixels and 25 pixels on the left and right so this is top this is left this is top bottom and this is right so I think for the top it's too much mm. so let me make it 5 pixels and for the length I need 50 and 50 and I want to display it flex so it's like that so I think uh, the previous one was all already good um, okay it's like that also I want to give a border so that it, uh, there's a line around that of uh, 10 pixels solid the same color but a little bit darker Mm, or a little bit lighter yeah also if you want you guys can give a background uh, to the body it's, uh, it's all your preference but it will be good if you give a background so that the code will stand out so I'll give a kind of red that and also we want to position this so that it's not it does not look like this so let me give a margin to the h1 we have that's the h1 so I'll give a margin left of around 70 pixels um, sorry. Um, 
right margin left let me say 170 okay uh, 170 pixels I think 170 is just too much or oh, 130 you guys can experiment it as well um, also for this which is a clock on the margin right to be 15 50 pixels because I want it to come a little bit to the left um, then margin right 70 pixels I also want to get that a little bit this side mm. so I'll increase the font size to 20 pixels and that's a lot smaller um, 35 pixels yes and then you can decrease it mm, around 120 yeah so this is how the CSS and the HTML combination is gonna look like after that we want to meddle with the J JavaScript file so that we can update the hours minutes and the seconds every second so here right under everything uh, above the body I'm gonna create a script tag with a source I'm gonna link the app.js which is here if you don't it's not gonna work so first of all I want to get the hours minutes and the seconds so way to do this is const hours equals document dot query selector and dot hours so I'm gonna be duplicating this twice um, which is gonna be seconds and uh, no this is gonna be minutes and this is gonna be seconds and changes also okay after that we want to create a time out a interval function so what this does is it creates a function that refreshes uh, every second so the way it works is um, so we put an arrow function like that and right next to the curly brackets we put um, I think we put a comma and we put thousand so it refreshes every uh, thousand milliseconds which is one second if you don't know how to put this arrow function it's just a brackets and then come out of it equals greater than sign and then two curly brackets that's all and after that we want to create a new variable which is gonna be date wanna be make it equals to the date method and I wanna update the hours right to the current hours which is I think is wrong I think 310 it's now so const new hours will be equals to date dot get hours so the way we get it is the new hours the date has all the properties like the hours the milliseconds the milliseconds also so from that we take get hours so the value we get that from will be assigned to new hours the same thing I'll be duplicating it twice so it's gonna be new minutes and this new seconds um this is also gonna be get minutes it's gonna be get seconds and after that it's just a matter of assigning these values to this so I'll say hours dot in a HTML equals new hours the same thing I'll duplicate it again and minutes down here I'll say seconds here I'll say new minutes and here new seconds now it's the same thing but here as you guys can see it's running but the problem is uh, this is a 24 hour clock and there is no like colons in the middle and also when when it comes to one or two uh, it's just one so there's no zero next to it so we, we should validate that um, so the way we do it is uh, we put um, what is it next to one the back text so we put that and with the dollar sign we put the curly brackets and we say new hours and the reason we are putting this is we can also use uh, values inside this like normal string values mm. 
so new hours minus 12 because as this is 16 it was 16 now minus 12 it's 4 so you can also do operations in this I mean mathematical operations and also string values can be assigned also variables can be put inside so the same thing we are going to be doing it here as well mm, new minutes uh, for minutes I don't think we do need it for seconds yes we do because we need a zero I'll say new seconds and next to that um, no so here I want to do a validation check uh, right below that I want to check if the minutes is less than 10 if the minutes is less than 10 which is gonna be one single value I wanna also add a zero next to it so I'm gonna put an if condition and then put um, minutes dot in HTML will be equals to the same thing that we did over there new new minutes but right bill uh, next to the dollar sign we put a zero the same thing I'm gonna do it for the seconds as well and also for the hours so we'll be duplicating it's a lot of duplicating in this program uh, also the last one I wanna put hours mm, update this to seconds update this to hours here new seconds and here new hours so if we do that as you guys can see it's updated right there but it does not look that much good so I'll put um, that colon over there so you don't need to do like the same thing that you do in the HTML as well so you can copy this JavaScript code and let me not copy it and I'll put the dollar sign I'll do the same thing and this is kind of complicated because I'm missing out also so 414 414 and the seconds uh, is also updating let me also check if when the seconds come to 0 or 1 whether it's uh, whether it increments 0 next to it uh, uh, it does not why if uh, seconds less than 10 oh I wanna put if the new seconds when here I'm gonna put new minutes new hours so there you go guys that's about it for the video um, if you guys want the code will be actually linked in the description whether it be a github code or anything it will somehow be in the description guys so make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos and also stay updated by clicking on that notification bell and also like my video for more videos and uh, comment if you have any video ideas or any doubts i'll make sure to reply it like within two hours or something i check my comments every time and that's about it for the video guys uh, i'll see you next time bye